guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited about what I'm going to be sharing with you today. So if you're like most people, you're often wondering, what am I going to wear today? I have all this clothes and nothing to wear. Even worse, I know a lot of people that buy clothes online, sits in their closet, and it never gets worn. Let me tell you, that is not a problem that I have because I have a foolproof way that will make sure everything hanging in your closet you are wearing, you are loving, and it fits and flatters your body. So you won't need to worry about going through your closet every season and trying everything on and purging and reorganizing. It's an ongoing process that you work into your every day. And I tell you, it is a lifesaver. So I'm sure if you're like me, you have heard a ton of different ways to organize your closet in the most optimal fashion. Look at the item. Does it bring you joy? If it doesn't, say thank you for your service and lay it to rest. Instagram taught me that the best way to organize your closet is first by weight and then within that by colors of the rainbow. Life hack at the beginning of the year, turn all of your hangers the opposite direction. At the end of the year, whatever you didn't turn around, just donate. So I'm not saying any of those are wrong by any means. If they work for you, great. They just don't work for me and I don't feel like they solve all of the issues. So I'm gonna share with you a little hack on how to organize your closet to get the most out of your wardrobe and be purging as you go so you never have to do a giant closet overhaul because that can be so overwhelming. So this system, I'm not kidding. I started doing this at about eight or nine years old. Um, I've always been big about making sure every, um, at the time, every stuffed animal got equal play time and every item in my closet got equal wear time. I didn't want to be playing favorites with anything. So originally when I was young, I just lined up everything in my closet, wore it front to back, things from the laundry went in the back and I just rotated. All of that worked until on a snow day, I was trying to wear a tank top and my dad gave me the wise idea, maybe I should include the weather into this situation. And this is where my whole closet organization and outfit planning system fell into place. So first things first, how to organize your closet. So I organize mine into five different sections. So I have tank top, short sleeve, three quarter sleeve, long sleeve, and then I have cold weather. So this is all gonna be dependent upon where you live. I'm in Utah, it gets very cold. So my cold weather section is like really thick sweaters or sweatshirts, hoodies, things like that for when you really wanna bundle up. So those are the five sections you're gonna organize your closet into. I will admit, I thought about waiting to film this video when you know we're in a bigger house, the big, pretty walk-in closet, but that's not realistic. And I wanted to show you that you could do this in any size closet. I just have a double bar um, that connects down here and I have all my t-shirts and tank tops, really the off season items hang on the lower portion since I'm not reaching for them as often. So once you have your closet organized by sleeve length, then the next part is how do we plan what to wear every day? So I know some people, and this is so foreign to me, because again, I've been doing this since I was a child. Some people just go to their closet, grab something and put it on. I can't do that. I've got a schedule. So how the schedule works is, again, I'm in Utah. We have all four seasons pretty extreme. So in the winter, it gets very cold. We're talking like down in the teens. In the summer, it gets very hot. It can be upwards of 100 degrees during the summer. So I need a clothing schedule that goes from very low to very high. So I'll give you an example of what my clothing schedule looks like. This is again, gonna be based on your preferences, where you live, what the weather is like there. So let's see, clothing schedule. All right, so 80 degrees and up is tank tops, 66 to 79 t-shirts, 50 to 65 three quarter sleeve, 
33 to 49 degrees is long sleeves, and anything 32 and below is that winter section, heavy sweaters, sweatshirts, um, things of that nature. So I've got my five sections of the closet and the five different temperature gauges for what section I reach for. So that makes it super quick and easy. On a Sunday, I'll just go to my handy dandy weather app and see, okay, it's gonna be 46 degrees on Monday, 45 Tuesday, 45 Wednesday. So let's see, 45 and 46 would make that three long sleeve days in a row. So then I would go to the front of my long sleeve section and pull out the first three long sleeve items. And then I know what I'm wearing that day. So it makes planning your outfits so quick, so easy. Don't even have to think about it other than, you know, mashing it with the bottom, which is probably the easiest part of the whole process. So that's how you're planning your outfit and optimizing it with how you're organizing your closet. Now, how this helps you with purging. So everything rotates within its own section. So when you do the laundry, put things back in your closet, everything goes back in the section it came from, um, long sleeve, three quarter sleeve, what have you. You put it in the back of that section. And so you're cycling through each section. So each item in the section is getting worn, nothing is getting forgotten. Now, how this helps you is when you're reaching for that item, say tomorrow, is a cold weather day and I need to grab the first item in the cold weather section. So for me, that is my new sweater from Nordstrom. So this one, I'm like so excited to be reaching for this, so excited to put it on. I just bought it like a week ago. That's why it still has its tags on it. So this one I grab and go, I'm so excited to wear it. If perhaps the next item on that list was maybe this sweater and I grab it and I'm like, God, last time I wore that, I really didn't like the way it looked or I'm um, just not feeling it or gosh, I just don't really like this color on me anymore. Whatever it is, when you're reaching for that and knowing it's what you're going to wear the next day, you will have an emotional reaction of some kind. Listen to that. If you don't like it, if it doesn't fit, if it doesn't flatter, that's when you know it's time for it to go. So that way, every day you are planning what to wear, you know what you're going to wear, and you're purging items as you go. So you don't have to worry about doing like a seasonal closet clean out because every day when you're planning your outfit, you're purging because you either love it, you hate it. And if you hate it, donate it. I should like create a hashtag for that or something. So when you find those items, just keep a pile, maybe a bag inside your closet of those items to get rid of. You can take them to the Goodwill or what have you once a month. I also highly recommend the Mercari app, especially if you're someone who runs into the issue of buying a lot of new clothes and then not really wearing them as much. Um, or if you're someone who does not try clothes on in the store, that's a video for another day. But if you have um, newer merchandise that rather than donate it, you could actually get some good money out of it. Highly recommend the Mercari app. We've been using that to kind of clean out the closets around the house during 2020 when we couldn't go anywhere. And we made like $500 last year, just getting rid of stuff in the house that we were not using, wearing, loving. But yeah, it's as simple as that. Just organize your closet in those five quadrants, make yourself a clothing schedule temperature list. And that's how you'll plan out your outfits. That's how you'll be purging as you go. So you only have items in your closet that fit, that flatter, that you love, that excite you and make you want to put them on and create an outfit around it. So there you have it. It's a super easy system. And like I said, it is pretty foolproof. Once you get your closet set up, once you make that clothing schedule, you are going to be set. You will never again have to ask, what am I gonna wear? You will know, you'll go to that place in the closet. You will grab it, you'll grab your jeans, you'll be out the door and you'll be purging your closet as you go. So hopefully you learned something from it. Maybe you'll implement it in your own life. If you do, let me know, comment down below um, and let me know how it goes for you. I hope it really helps you to make sure that you only have items in your closet that you love. Thanks and I'll see you next time. Bye.